And good morning, everybody. Um, here I am. It is June 2nd, 2015, and wow, man, I can't believe it's June already. I can't believe uh, it's the 2nd already, and um, here I am uh, making a video. So I wanted to talk about a few things today. I heard the new Eminem song, and man, I like it. Uh, it's called Phenomenal. It's going to be in the movie uh, Southpaw. It's going to be the lead-off track for the movie, and it really reminds me a lot of the kind of workout mentality of lose yourself. So, you know, go after it and get it. Um, to me, it's good. I have a little Eminem, 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 Eminem bias. I have a little Eminem bias. Um, I like everything he puts out. I, I think it speaks to me. One of the reasons why I like it is because I like the fact that when he raps, he's like battling, fighting. You know, it's kind of my mentality through life. I, I fight my way through life. Life has been pretty good to me, but, you know, there's been struggles. And so sometimes you have to say, fuck it, I'm going to push my fist against something and, and really get some stuff accomplished. Um, for example, when, you know... Uh, you can't get through a doorway, that sort of thing. You can't get through a doorway, you just have to push through it. Uh, life cannot always uh, ha always hands you difficulties, and life can't always be easy, so you need to stand up for what you believe. And that's my little rant on Eminem. I'm a super fan, and I've always loved his stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of Not Afraid was a great song. Uh, it really, you know, same type of deal. When it came out, I... I thought that, you know, people, um, you know, understood what he was trying to say. And I feel like the same way with, um, the same way with, uh, um, sorry, I got a message from Twitter. Somebody just followed me. I've been tweeting, tweeting more lately. Uh, and that's kind of cool. Um, uh, actually if it happens in a video, it's cool. Cause yeah. Um, but yeah, what I was saying was Eminem, you know, always, always struggle. You know, I get the same type of feeling from Phenomenal, this song that just came out. And I hope that you will too. Um, I think that you will. Anyway, uh, enough about that. That was a, that was a complete um, ramble there towards the end, but that's okay. Um, Adrian Peterson, going back to Vikings camp. I don't think he ever wants to be, I don't think he really wants to be a Minnesota Viking. And he's just going there to make his money. And how many switches, how many switches, uh, you know, or devices, he's going to make $12 million. So I was trying to debate myself how many switches he can buy uh, for his kid, uh, uh, you know, to use on him uh, over over a period of time. Okay, that was wrong, that was crude, and I'm sorry. But, I mean, I, I really don't like the guy. Um, forget the fact that uh, he's a Minnesota Viking and I'm a diehard Packer fan. Uh, but the reality of it is, it, it just seems like a jerk. A lot of, a lot of athletes that seem like they're seem like they're above the league, and I think the owners have the upper hand. And I think they're greedy bastards, too. So, um, I don't know. don't like Adrian Peterson. Um, and, I'm, you know, it'll, he'll play this year. He'll play this year. I I don't know. He want, He knows. He, my, my whole thing is this. He knows he's over 30. He knows he's, you know, and when, you know, he knows his career is numbered. For running backs, the average span is, what, like five to seven years of decent running? Um, and, you know, he knows that time is up. And I really believe the year that he almost caught Eric Dickerson, that was his time. That was his time to show, you know, that he's awesome. But apparently, you know, he and he did do that. Uh, but, you know, um, he won the MVP. People forget that. But, you know, he can do, he could, there's a lot more he could do. Um, and he could win a Super Bowl. He could really help Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater is a solid quarterback, uh, and 
I guess what I'm trying to say is just shut up and play, Adrian. We'll see where the chips fall. There's no fucking way I think the Packers are, are going to go down this year. I think, uh, you know, the, Aaron Rodgers is on a mission. He won the MVP. He said, you know, winning a division is not going to cut it this year. And I don't know why he didn't say this before because, to me, this should be a goal of every team, but he really wants home field advantage. Now, we'll see where the coaching change coaching changes helped in the uh, for the for the Packers and I'm getting off on a tangent. It was originally about Adrian Peterson. We can talk about that more in another video. Packers will be good. Um, I don't think that they'll, you know, I think they'll be 13 and 3, 14 and 2 pushing that. Um, you know, I they're on a mission this year. Um, their defense this is listen, Capers has an assistant coordinator this year. And this is really, in my opinion, his last stand. If he doesn't succeed this year, first of all, I think he's going to retire anyway. Um, and then, if he doesn't, if they don't perform better this year, then I think changes will be made. And that was uh, what Green Bay was trying to do by putting in the defensive assistant coordinator, which hopefully will help. Uh, but I don't know. Anyway, this has been your two for Tuesday. Uh, not, not intentionally, just two topics that I wanted to talk about. I'm going to write about something later, uh, as soon as I can get some stuff figured out, but, um, hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. See you later. Thanks for all the follows on Twitter. Thank you, Howard Stern Fan Nation, for that, because I love you all, and I love Howard, and he's the reason, one of the reasons why I decided to block. I said, you know what? I said, fuck it, look. Uh, I'll say this quickly because I, I really have to get going. But well, actually, no, I don't. But when I I know that I'm getting a little long-winded. Uh, when I graduated, I graduated with my master's a year ago in counseling, and I've been hunting, hunting, hunting for jobs. Haven't been able to find a job. You know, I've been putting myself out there. Making these videos has really uplifted me, and so I hope I hope that you all watch this video because it really means a lot to me to be putting myself out there, making these videos, and doing that sort of thing, okay? Um, take it easy. My name is Peter Lore, and I'm out. Have a good day. Got the mouse back, by the way, in case you cared, in case you were wondering. Peace.